Hallelujah. Amen. Glory praise. be to God. Hallelujah. We give God praise for His mercy Hallelujah. upon us again today. Amen. God is a faithful God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're just going to start this service as we give praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. Just let's worship Him.
the Lord bless you all. Lord bless you all. In Today Jesus we are going to look at something so very, very critical because the Lord woke me up and he said something to me. And those are the things you are going to look into today. Hallelujah. Your life will never be the same again. Amen. I'm going to take my reading from Psalms 8 9, Hallelujah. verse 24. It says, My covenant I will not break, nor alter the word that has gone out of my lips <laughs> my covenant Hallelujah. i will not break nor alter the words that has come out of my lips Hallelujah. god woke me up to say to me his covenant he will not break nor alter anything that have come out of his mouth so today we are going to look at one of the things that came out of the mouth of God. It cannot be altered, which means it can't change. When Jesus was facing trouble in Gethsemane, when the devil in the wilderness, when the devil came to tempt him, he overcame with it is written. Because it is written cannot be altered. Anything that comes out of the mouth of God cannot be changed. It cannot be amended. You cannot amend it in any way. It's not like a constitution that you change from day to day, from moment to moment. No, it's not like that. Even now, you can see when, you're, when, you, when you want to apply for insurance now, they have included coronavirus. You know, if you have this, this, it, it wasn't there. But this year, it has been included in questions to be asked when you're looking for anything. They'll ask you that. But the word of God cannot change. It cannot be altered. And that's why it's important that we hold on this word. The word of God. God says, my covenant will I not break. It made me so glad. He said to me, I will not break my covenant. I will not. If God will not break his covenant, you can be assured that every promise of God in your life will come to pass. He said, I will not alter the word that has come out of my mouth. God is not a man that will tell you yes today and tomorrow they tell you no. The ones that will tell you, oh, you are the greatest and tomorrow they say you are not the greatest. No, it's not God. He cannot alter any word that came out of his mouth. You know. I want to read Jeremiah chapter 20, uh, chapter 33, verse 20. He said, Thus says the Lord, If you can break my covenant of day and my covenant of night, and that there should be no day and night, then you know you're in. The covenant of day and night has never been broken, and it cannot be broken. Nobody can change it. No scientist can change the morning and the night. Nobody. It cannot change. Since we were born, since God made the creation, there is morning, there is day, and there is night. Nothing can alter it. And that's how he shows you who God is. He said, my covenant, the Lord said, if, if you can break, anybody who can break the covenant of the day and the covenant of the night, let me see the person. There is no generation. There is no scientist. There is no power. There is no philosopher. There is nobody that can break that covenant. Since God made it, day will be there, night will be there. He has remained the same. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Numbers chapter 23, verse 19, God is not a man that he should lie, neither a son of man that he should repent. Has he said it, and shall he not do it as he has, as he has spoken? And shall he not make it good? Anything God speaks, he does. God does not change. Anything, any word that comes out of his mouth, you can rely on the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 6, he says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. God cannot change. He is the same yesterday, today, and 
forever. God has always been God. He is a mighty God. The God that made the heavens and the earth is still the same God. Don't ma no matter what you're facing, it doesn't change the greatness of God, the mightiness of God, how great God is. He is a great God. Mm -hmm. And now, finally, in Matthew, you know, Matthew 24, verse 35, he says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Hallelujah. Oh yes, you can rely on the word of God. Heaven and earth can pass away, but the word of God cannot pass away. People can come and go, but the word of God cannot come and go. God, the word of God is forever. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God cannot pass away. So that's why it's important that today we are going to look into some of the things that came out of the mouth of God. He said, the word that came out of my mouth, he cannot be altered. And God said to me, there are some things I have said that never again will it happen. So today we are, talk, we are looking at never again. You know, the word never again proceeded out of the mouth of God. There are some things he said that never again will this happen. Never again will that happen. Hallelujah. Never again. And all those never again, those are the things you use to fight your battle. Those are the things, that's what Jesus used in fighting his battle. Jesus said, it is written. It is written. I'm going to take one of the never again. Never again. We are going to look at Genesis chapter 9. Genesis chapter 9 from verse 8. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. Never again. No matter what happens, the flood can never destroy the earth. No matter what happened, the flood, you know, when, that's why you see the rainbow. The rainbow is a covenant God has made that he is not going to destroy the world with water. He is not going to destroy the whole earth with water. And what am I talking about? All of us face waters of life. So when you see waters of life coming your way, when you see trouble coming your way, when you see waters of life, you are able to tell the waters of life to tell them, you cannot swallow me. You will tell the waters of life, you cannot swallow me. Because God has said, never again, never again will the water swallow me. Never again will the flood destroy the earth. Hallelujah. Your life cannot be destroyed. Your earth cannot be destroyed. Because God has said, never again. And never again of God is not for one generation. It's forever. Anything he says never again is from generation to generation. It does not change. So God has said never again. I know in our lives we have so many things that has hindered us. There are some difficulties. In this journey of life, when you talk about the waters of life, you have dangers coming your way. You have fears coming your way. You have regrets coming your way. You have different difficulties. You have disaster. Like all of us are facing different disaster in our life now. We have different things happening around the world. There are difficulties and potential disaster everywhere you turn in the world. Everywhere you turn. They are either saying this and they are either saying that. But one thing God has promised us is, He said, never again. I want you to put that to mind. That God said, I establish my covenant with you. That never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood. And never again shall be a flood to destroy the earth. You tell your problem. You tell the difficulty. You tell the waters of life. Anything you're facing that God has said, never again. You will not destroy me. You will not swallow me. I will not because waters of life cannot. That is one thing that God has said never again. Then I'm going to go into the second thing that God said never again to us. There are so many, but God has just prompted my heart to teach us three, three of them for today. And we start applying just the same secret that Jesus applied. In Isaiah 65 verse 20, Isaiah 65 verse 20, he says, never again. Would there be in it an infant who lives but for a, a day, for few days? Or an old man who does not live out his age, his years? 
The one who dies at a hundred will be taught a mere child. The one who fails to reach a hundred will be considered cursed. <laughs> what is God telling you? Untimely death is forbidden for you. Untimely death is forbidden for our children. Untimely death is forbidden for our brothers and our sisters. He said, never again will there be infants who live a few days. Infants are not supposed to live a few days. He said, never again. So when you see any situation that want to take your infant too early, you tell the devil, never again. God has said, never again. Will my infant be taken? Never again will our uh, our world be taken. All the infants in the whole world, in Asia, in America, in Europe, everywhere, we decree never again will they be taken. There will be no more death of infants. Infancy death, God said never again. And he didn't stop that. He said, an old man that does not live out his years. All of us will live our years to the full. Because God said, never again, he is not going to see an old man that does not live at you. You will live at your whole year. I will live at my whole year in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. He said, the one who dies a hundred will be taught a mere child. So hundred years mm -hmm. is our, is, he will be like a child. That's what God is saying. When you die, when you are hundred years, it will be like a child die. I want you to change your mindset. I know what is happening now with coronavirus, with cancer, with this and with that. It's making you think, oh, I'm going to live a short life. I'm, going, I'm not going to live long. No, the Lord said never again. Will, that, will you not fulfill your age? You will fulfill your age, I will fulfill my age. And God, what cannot change? Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God cannot pass away. And God has also said that, that if anybody dies less than a hundred years, it will be a cause. And Jesus has redeemed us from the cause of the law, being made a cause for us. We will not die except we reach hundred. Hundred is our, that's what God has said. And you know, he has already, I've already told you that he has told us that none of the word that come out of his mouth, none of them will come back void. It will accomplish what it is sent for. God cannot say and change his mind. His word still stands sure. Hallelujah. So I want you to re begin to use your never again to anything that makes you to, to think you're going to die in, in less than 100 years. You tell it never again. I remember when I was sick. When I was very sick, the devil kept telling me, you're going to die, you're going to die, you're going to die. But I remember telling them that the God had decided I will not die. And when God's decision supersedes the decision of the enemy, Satan will always come. He will always come to tempt you. He will always come to try you. He will always come to say one or two things to you. But what will you do? You do the way Jesus has done. He said, never again. Never again would it be said that you will die except your 100 years. Except Jesus comes. Hundred years is your portion. Hundred years is the portion of our sons. Hundred years is the portion of our daughters and our sisters. Look of, of, of everyone connected to us by the hundred years is our portion. Amen. And you must consider that and you must take it. Because when God is saying a thing, he's not saying it to cajole you. He re, he's really saying it to say, This is what I want for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never Amen. again. Never again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to look at another one. In Zechariah chapter 14 verse 11. He says, My people will live there. And never again will there be an altered destruction. So Jerusalem will dwell securely. <laughs> Your life will not be destroyed. Hallelujah. Your life will not be God said never again. There will be no altered destruction. Never again. Your life will not be destroyed. My life will not be destroyed. Amen. I don't mind. I don't care what sickness is touching you. It will not destroy you. Whatever it is that is troubling you, it will not destroy you. Whatever it is, because God has said, never again will there be an altered destruction. Amen. That thing that is troubling you will not utterly destroy you. Amen. The Bible says you will pass through water, it will not overwhelm you. You will pass through the fire, it is not going to burn you. Don't be afraid. Pass gallantly, pass with power. You are going to come out even more purified. You are going to come out even more powerful. You are going to come out like a gold. Purified. There is glory at the other end. If you don't give up, there is glory at the other end. God has said it never. 
You will not be utterly destroyed. Your ministry will not be utterly destroyed. Your family will not yes, be utterly Lord. destroyed. Your marriage will not be utterly destroyed. Your business will not be utterly destroyed. Anything concerning it will not be utterly destroyed. Your health will not be utterly destroyed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. He said you will dwell securely. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. You are secured. Hey. When the God of heaven, don't let anything terrorize you. Don't let human beings terrorize you. Do not fear the faith. You will be totally secured. No, Security is sure for you. Security is sure for me. Security is sure for our nation. It's no, sure for our families. No, it's sure for foundation ministry yes. worldwide. We will dwell securely. Amen. Put your head up. Don't be bowed down. Don't let anything bow you down. You will dwell securely. God's word cannot be moved. It cannot be shaken. And God has said it. We will dwell securely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Ah, you say never again. Never again. When you see anything that wants to destroy, you say, no, 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 no. God has said, never again. Never again will you destroy me. When you see things that is making you dwell securely, you say, no, 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 no. God said, I will never again be unsecure. You are secured. You are secured in every area. Everything about you is secured. Don't be afraid. You are secured. There is security in Christ. Your job is secured. Your life is secured. Your marriage is secured. Your future is secured. There is security in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we are going to see the last one now before we begin to apply. How do we do it? In Isaiah 62 verse 4. Isaiah 62 verse 4. It says, you will never again become the people that God left. <laughs> they won't tell you and say God has forsaken you. They will, you will never again be called the people that God has left. Nor your land be destroyed. No. You will be called the people God loves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And your land will be called the bride of God. Hallelujah. Because the Lord loves you. Yes. And your land will belong to him yes. as a bride belongs to her husband. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Say, never again. People look at you and say, ah, oh, God has left you. No, 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 no. It's changed now. It's changed. The glory of God that will be upon your life will shock them. Amen. It will shock them. Amen. Praise the Lord. All the people that were laughing at Hannah, when the glory of God came upon her, they were, they are not the one that began to laugh with her. Say, ah, Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Oh my God. You, really, eh, you, have, you have children now. Hallelujah. They will laugh with you. All those people who are laughing at you, they will laugh with you in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh. They will not laugh at you and say, where is your God? They cannot ask you, where is your God? They will not ask you as long as God lives. Nobody will ask you again, where is your God? I think you say you're serving God, and you're serving God this and this and this and that. No, no, no. God said never again. Ne from now henceforth, never again would there be any situation in your life that they will say, ah, I think you say you're serving God. Your life will show that you're serving God. He said you'll be called a yeah, lamb. Yeah. People God loves. When they see you, they praise God. When they see you, they say, my God, this is an evidence of a man or a woman who, God's love, who God loves. A family, a church, a place who God, where God lives and people who God loves. That is your portion. That is my portion. Hallelujah. Amen. Never again, Amen. never again will it be said that your land is destroyed. Your land will never be destroyed again. Your physical land, your spiritual land, Amen. your emotional Amen. land, your marital Amen. land, your financial Amen. land will not be destroyed again. Amen. In the name of Jesus, there will be no devourer in your life. Never again, never again, never again, never again will your land be destroyed. We have different land. We have a we have a, a professional land. We have a career land. We have a ministry land. Never again will it be destroyed. Never again. When God says never again, you stand on it and say never again. Never again will your character be destroyed. You there will not be character assassination on your life again. They will not stop you anymore. Never again. They destroy. Destroyers are over in the name of Jesus. The Lord has removed all destroyers in your life. Never again. Amen. Your land cannot be destroyed again. Never again. It's our season of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. What did he say? He said, God will call you people God loves. And your land will be called a bride of God. Hallelujah. I am a bride of God. You are a bride of God. Hallelujah. Because the Lord loves you. 
and you will, your land will belong to him as a bride belongs to her husband. The Lord loves you. God is good to us. God is good to you. God is good to me. God is good to all of us. Never again, never again will you see any area that it looks as if God, God will not be bad to you. God will be good to you. God will be good to your family. God will be good to everyone connected to you by destiny. Hallelujah. Now, what do we do? We have to take action. We have to take action. What do we do? God has said it. When God says it, what do we do? We have to do something. We have, number one, you must listen for God's guidance. You must listen for God's guidance. That's why I'm asking you, each and every one of us, learn how to go to the scriptures and see the things that came out of the mouth of God. Any situation you're in, go and check what came out of the mouth of God concerning my situation. Whether it's healing, whether it's marriage, whether it is work, whether it is family, whether any is ministry, whatever it is, go and find out what came out of the mouth of God concerning this situation. Because anything that comes out of the mouth of God cannot be changed. You can rely on it and you can lean on it. So you listen for God's guidance. For God's guidance. Hallelujah. Let me give you an example. You know when it was the time that the waters of life, Paul was selling. And then there was water. You know, he was in too much difficulty. Too much difficulty. But the Bible says an angel of the Lord came to him a night before and said to him. That angel of God said something to him. Hallelujah. Let's see what the angel of God said to him. Hallelujah. Somebody, if you can read for me, Matthew 16 verse 25. Hallelujah. He says, he said to him, this was clear, a vision that Paul, ha hallelujah, praise the Lord. He said, but take, take courage. None of you will lose your lives. Even though the ship will be going down. Hallelujah. Amen. For last night, yes. an angel of God came to whom I belong. And whom I serve stood beside me. And he said, don't be afraid, Paul. For you will surely stand, hallelujah, trial before Caesar. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 16 from verse 21 to 25. Take courage. Take courage, my family. None of you will lose your lives in this coronavirus. None of us will lose our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even though the sheep or coronavirus or what is happening is happening. For last night, I tell you, last night, an angel of the Lord came to me, the one I belong to, and stood by my side. He said to me, Chiwe, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid that never again will any of you be destroyed. We will not be destroyed. We will not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. You arrive the journey. Your journey will arrive safe. Every journey of life you have started. You will not be aborted. You will arrive safe. You will arrive safe. We will arrive safe in every area of our life. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is the first thing you do. The first thing is you listen to God for his guidance. So you go into the word of God and find out what comes out of the mouth of God. Don't, don't listen to what men are saying. Men's word cannot stand the test of time. But the word of God can stand all the time. So you have to listen for God's guidance. I don't move by what I hear or what I see. But the word of God moves me. If the word of God says it, I believe it. And that settles it. And you know one thing that is wonderful is that Satan knows. Satan knows the word of God. He knows the word of God. So when you, pre when you give him the word of God, he moves. Jesus told him, it is written. It is written because it cannot be broken. The word of God cannot be broken. He kept telling him it is written. But if you don't know what is written, how can you tell the devil what is written? So you must spend time listening to the word of God. Listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Listen to the guidance of God. And you can get that through the scriptures. Study the scriptures. Don't go studying other things. Study the scriptures. 
It's only the scriptures that cannot be broken. The things that come out of the mouth of God cannot be altered. I tell you, we are so blessed that God gave us his mind. We can read the mind of God and we can see till today there is morning, there is night, there is afternoon. It has never changed. The way God has said it, it has remained. So that is number one. Number two, action for us to take. Believe that God is able. Believe that God is able. You know, sometimes we hear the word of God, but we don't believe it. We hear, I'm telling you now, all the things he has said, never again, never again, never again. Do you believe it? You have to believe the word of God. I have just come to recognize that believing the word of God means just accept it. Believing the word of God, the simplest way to understand what it means to believe the word of God is accept it. God says it. I believe it. And that settles it. Accept it. Don't argue with the word of God. What God says, you accept it. When God went to Mary to say, Mary, you're going to have a child without a husband. She didn't argue. She accepted it. Faith, believing is accepting what God has said. Accept what God has said. I have given you four things that God has said never again will happen to you. Accept it. Don't tell me, oh, you know now we are in, a, in how many centuries? People are not living up to 100 years. That is irrelevant. I accept what God has said. You accept what God has said. Yes, we are in whatever age, how many centuries, but the word of God cannot change. Begin to accept the word of God. What is happening to many of us is because we hear the word of God, but we don't accept it. You know, we don't accept it. When you accept the word of God, things become possible for you. He said, to him that believes, all things are possible. And then he gives you the right and the same ranking with God. The Bible teaches us that with God, all things are possible. And then he says, anyone who believes, to him that believes, all things are possible. Begin to accept the word of God. Oh, I am accepting the word of God like never before. If God says anything, I believe it. No matter what I'm facing, I'm going to believe the word of God. Accept it. Accept what God has said for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Accept the word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the second, second action to take. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm going to, the third action to take is um, pray. Pray. Pray, pray, pray. Hallelujah. I have seen that prayer changes things. Pray. You see, when you listen to the word of God, you get guidance from him, and then you begin to accept what he says. There is power for you to say. He said, whatever you say in your mouth, prayer is bringing those things that God has said into power. Into power. Into, you need to pray. Prayer is a communication between you and God. So what you're doing is, you call to God and say, God, that's what Jesus was doing in Gethsemane. He was praying. He was telling God, never again. You say this is going to happen. You say that is going to happen. That is prayer. And God is bound by his word. He's bound by his word. And if you don't pray, nothing happens. Blind Bartimaeus was there. He had been blind for how many years? He didn't see when Jesus was passing. He didn't know what was happening. But when he heard the noise, you know, he sensed, he said, ah, what is happening? And somebody told him, ah, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Do you know he passed by, he was blind. Jesus saw him that he was blind. He did nothing. Jesus did nothing. But immediately, blind Bartimaeus prayed, Jesus turned back. You must pray. You must open your mouth to pray. You must speak to God concerning the things, issues you're facing. Don't be quick to call people on phone and tell them your problem when you have not told God. Tell it to God. Blind Bartimaeus said, Jesus, that son of David, have mercy upon me. Jesus, some of us don't know how to call on God for mercy, but we know how to call on people for, for help. Call unto him. He said, call upon me, all ye that labor, and I heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Your first point of call must be God. You must learn to pray. You must learn to pray. Let us saturate our family with prayer. 
Prayer brings the presence of God wherever you are. Prayer brings the promises of God to come to pass. Prayer changes things. I was listening to my very favorite preacher, David Yogicho. He said something. He said that some people were in Japan. They couldn't get healed. But immediately they stepped into South Korea. They got healed. Why? Because the heavens of South Korea is saturated with prayer. Every corner, every corner of South Korea, people are praying. There are prayer mountains everywhere. The Catholics are praying. The Anglicans are praying. The, the Protestants are praying. The Pentecostals are praying. Everywhere prayer is being made. That country is full of the presence of God. When you pray, you draw down the presence of God. You're drawing what is in heaven and bringing it here. That's what Jesus taught us. He said, pray thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Prayer brings the will of God to be done on earth. If you don't pray, nothing happens. I want to ask you in your little way, in your little way, learn how to pray. To draw down the power of God is not cumbersome. It's not something extraordinary. It's a very common, it's a very easy and powerful thing to do. Open your mouth and pray. And when you pray, something happens. When you pray, something happens. When you pray, something happens. Our whole world changes. Our families are changing. I thank God for what has happened. That, you know, the church is not a, we are not communing in the church. We are communing in our homes. Can you imagine every home is not filled with the presence of God? Any home that is not praying, begin to pray now. If you are not praying in your house, make it a point of duty to say, in my house, even if it is 15 minutes, every day I will pray. I will pray. I will draw down the presence of God. I will pray in the Holy Ghost. I will fill my family with the Holy Ghost. In our house, by the grace of God, to the glory of God, People who are sick, when they come in here, they get healed. Because prayer is made in this house on a constant basis. Amen. Make your house. What did Jesus say? He said, my house shall be a house of prayer Amen. and not a den of shift. Your house must be a house of prayer, not a place for people to come and gossip, not a place for people to come and do evil. It must be a house of prayer. Now when people come, oh, prayer begins to happen. Turn your own home. Turn every home. Every home should be turned to be a house of prayer where God's presence is dwelling continuously, where God's presence is making a difference. I thank God that God is going to destroy all the works of darkness when we begin to pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want you to repeat with me. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Please say it like you say it. Never again. Never again. Are you believing me? Yes, we believe. Do you believe the word of God? Yes. Hallelujah. The word of God said, never again, never Hallelujah. again. Hallelujah. Never again would there be untimely death for you. Hallelujah. 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 Are you speaking to yourself? You. Say, never again would there be untimely death for you. Death Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, yes, begin to speak, Lord, begin to speak. Never again, never again, never again. Never again. Never again. Untimely death will not be, will not be part of me. In the name of Jesus. Never, 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 never. Never again. My children will not die young. I will not die young. In the name of Jesus Christ. My brothers, my sisters. Every member for this family should water. Don't be that sword. The world in the, of the, in the name of Jesus. Never, name never of Jesus. again. Never again. Would that be your timely death? In the, in the name of Jesus. Never again. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to also pray. Every difficulty and every disaster you're facing, tell them you will not overwhelm me. Because Jesus has said, God has said that I establish my covenant with you that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the water of the flood. Never again will the flood destroy your head. Now begin to tell every difficulty you're telling, anything you're facing, whether sickness, whether water, tell it never again. You will not destroy me. Are you having mental problems? Are you having financial problems? Are you having whatever? Tell them never again. Is a water of God. No God that cut Never again will you destroy me. In the name of Jesus. Every flood of life, you will not destroy me. In the name of Jesus. Oh, whatever's Every difficulty, every rejection, every 
the God Almighty, oh Lakateya, I'm fighting. You will not destroy me in the name of Jesus. Never again will every walker of the enemy destroy me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Say never again. Never again will I be unsecure. Speak to you will never be unsecure. You are secure. Never again will I be unsecure. I will be secure. I am secure. My husband is secure. My sons are secure. My daughters are secure. My brothers are secure. My sisters are secure. Every man, every woman of foundation blessed. They are secure in the name of Jesus. Man bear it with us. In the name of Jesus. Ura masati yada. Ura masati yada. Ebra makuni yada. Lekande yada. Ura masiki yada. Never again. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Now you're going to tell yourself, never again. Never again. Never again. Will you be rejected? Never again. Never again. Will people laugh and mock at you? People laugh and mock at you. Never again. Now begin to speak to yourself. Never again. Never again. I will not be rejected. Oh, people will not mock and laugh at me. Never again. Never again. In the name of Jesus, I will be called. If you love the Lord, I'll be called. In the name of Jesus, my Lord, so shall it be. For my sons, for my daughters, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Say, Father. Father. Help me to listen to your word. Help me to listen to your word. Help me to listen to the word. Help me to listen to the word. Let me to listen to the Holy Spirit. Help me to take guidance from the Holy Spirit. Take guidance from the Holy Spirit. Say, Father. Father. Help me accept your promises. Help me accept your promises. Father. Father. Help me to pray. Help me to pray. To bring to pass. To bring to pass, to bring to pass your, promises. your promises. Your promises in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Today we have two celebrations. Our son Valentine today is his birthday, so we're going to be praying for him. And my senior brother in Nigeria today is their 18 years of marriage. We are going to be praying for him. And any other person that has celebration, we are praying for you as well. And we're saying happy birthday. To you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, Wellington, happy birthday to you, may God bless you now, may God bless you now, may God bless you now. Apostle to pray for them and then close us in the service. Praise, God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for the life of our dear brother Darlington. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, Amen. the um, uh, the brother uh, that's uh, Reverend. Uh, Umachiku. Hallelujah. The Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Who is in Amen. Lagos, Nigeria. They are celebrating their 18th, 18th year wedding anniversary. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I know that the Lord that has brought them this far Amen. will continue to take them to glorious and more glorious years Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, Father, we want to thank you. We want to give you praise. We thank you, Father, Lord, for the life, O oh Lord, Father, of your son, Darlington. We thank you, Lord, for the years that you have brought him through. We thank you because, Lord, you have been with him. We thank you, Lord, Father, for, Lord, the way you have kept him from every evil. We thank you because you have spared his life, O oh Lord. Because many started this year, but, Lord, you have spared him. To Lord see his birthday. We want to give you praise. We honor you. We thank you, Lord, for the good things, for the blessings, O oh Lord, that you have not showered upon him. We thank you for your favor that has followed him right through till now. We give you all the glory. And now we declare that, Lord, even the years that are ahead of him, that, Lord, they will be full of, Lord God Almighty, of, Lord, your blessings, full of your favor in the mighty name of Jesus, that your presence will go with him all the days of his life in the mighty
mighty name of Jesus, that Lord, it shall be well with him, because he's a man who fears you, that Lord God Almighty, that is your promise, that it shall be well with those who fear you, Lord, so will it be for him, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that Lord God Almighty, that Lord, with long life, will you satisfy him, in the name of Jesus, he will Lord, grow, oh Lord, Father, to, to an old age, a good old age, in the mighty name of Jesus, he will see his children's children Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I thank you because Lord God Almighty, your angels, oh Lord, Lord will minister to him, Amen. Lord God Almighty, daily in the name of Jesus Amen. and spare him from every evil Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So also do we pray, oh Lord Father, for Reverend Wachuku, Lord, and the family. Lord, even as they celebrate the 18th year, Lord, of their marriage, I pray that Lord God Almighty, that Lord, joy and peace Lord will reign in that marriage in the name of Jesus I decree that Lord God Almighty that Lord your presence will continually be with them all the days of their life in the name of Jesus I say it shall be many more years of bliss in the name of Jesus I decree that Lord God Almighty that Lord your hand will be upon them your hand will lift them your hand will uphold them in the mighty name of Jesus I decree that every plan of the enemy against all Lord Father, the celebrants today, that Lord you would thwart today in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever they are gathered against them, Lord you will scatter by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Lord, I decree and I declare that Lord God Almighty, Lord you will perfect everything that concerns them in the mighty name of Jesus. I say it, Lord, it is well again with them, O Lord, all the days of their life in the name of Jesus. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. Jesus, the Lord, the Lord that speaketh better things than that of evil, Lord will speak for the them Lord. in the name of Jesus. They will not die but live the to Lord. declare your glory the in the Lord. land of the living. The and Lord. so shall it be. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Amen. Lord. Yes, Lord. We give you praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes. Because you are God, I can face tomorrow. Yes. Because you are God, I'm not afraid of what I can do. Yes. Because you are God, I will always pass. Because you are God, Father, I shall not be afraid. Amen. Because you are God, Father, I will always Praise you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is praise from a grateful heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We thank God for the life of everyone that has joined today. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for connecting and the Lord bless you. I believe that as God has said it, never again mm. shall you see destruction. Amen. Never again shall you see sickness. Yes. Never again shall you see any works of the enemy come Amen. against you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. For God has declared it and no one can change it. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a great day. Have a great and a wonderful Sunday. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The, the presence of the Lord is with you. God bless you. And thank you. We meet tomorrow, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. tomorrow for our uh, intercessory prayer. Hallelujah. Don't forget to join us and connect. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Bless you. And happy birthday again, Brother Darlington. God bless you all. God bless you.